So I have this frame section all fit up. It is ready to weld. Previously on Inside the Body Shop. I have a Dodge Ram here. This one took a good hit in the frame. So this part is destroyed. So I have this frame section all fit up. I got it measuring out perfectly, so it is ready to weld. So I am going to go ahead and get the MIG welder out and I'm gonna zap this all the way around. And then it also gets welds on the inside of this oval hole here. Then after that, I will start fitting up the upper rail section and get all that worked out. Well, first start cutting this one off, then start fitting the new one up. So this is cavity wax. I'm gonna hose inside of this frame rail to protect uh, its corrosion protection for the inside for all the area that I welded, any bare metal. And this sprays in a 360 degree pattern. You can see right there. And I'll hose this all the way down in here. All right, now on to the upper rail assembly. I have to replace. Now this piece, it slides in way back up in here. In order to put the whole piece in, you have to take this whole piece off and you also have to take the dash out because you'll be welding right up against where the dash goes and it could catch fire. But they actually make a sectioning procedure. They have a procedure where I could cut this right here, right in here, and it shows I could cut this anywhere up in this area. So I'm probably gonna cut them both. Probably cut this one here and this one here. And this is the repair procedure. It shows anywhere in the green, you can section it in. So pretty much anywhere in the top area, and then they want me to go in the back of this bottom area. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mark this. I'm gonna go 50 millimeters back from this hole for my bottom cut. Then my top cut, I'm gonna go 40 millimeters, I can't talk, 40 millimeters back from this hole.
so they want me to take the old piece and cut a two inch backer which is what I did right here and I'm gonna have to cut each side and make it a little smaller because it has to go inside of this old piece and then same thing with the top rail and then when I slide it inside of there then the new one will slide over it and it'll be used as a backer whenever I weld those seams up all the way around so I'm gonna split these So I'm going to do some comparison measurements. First I'm going to check the length on each side. And that's dead on. Now I'm going to check and see if it's square. Pretty much dead on. Perfect. So I am going to go ahead and weld both these seams, get this piece all welded in, and then I will get this thing down off the frame rack. Thank you. 